when you look for aphids in a field, uh, people often ask, how many plants should I scout? Um, you know, the more the better is the basic rule of thumb. We try to have a minimum of 20 in all our sentinel plot counts. But if you only have time to do, for example, 10, uh, that's still a lot better than just doing one plant at the edge of the field. You'd walk into it, say, you know, 200 feet, pick out a plant, uh, more or less at random, just bend down, pick it up, pull it out by the roots, start counting this plant. Once you've done that one, just throw it aside, move on, and go another 40 feet in any direction. And you can pick out any pattern you want. You can make a diamond pattern so you arrive back where you started. Uh, uh, as some people do an M pattern, whatever. The pattern doesn't really matter. The, the idea is to scout uh, different regions of the field and get a picture of what's happening. Because with aphids, you will see hot spots occasionally where you'll see a plant with a thousand aphids uh, right beside a plant with almost none. The key is to get a representation of what's happening throughout the field. Note the growth stage of the plant. Uh, now you'll see these. These beans are pretty far along. Uh, there are four or five stage beans. Start at the bottom of the plant, and I ignore the top side of the leaves and just look at the bottoms of the leaves and go one trifoliate at a time and just look at the underside of the leaves and count the numbers of aphids that I see there moving up toward the top of the plant. Now this plant is uh, pretty loaded with aphids, and I usually don't count uh, plants that are loaded to this extent. I usually estimate. And where I make the cutoff of estimating is if I see aphids on the stem, for example, or if I see aphids um, on the lower levels of the plant, that often means that plant is over threshold or over 250 aphids on it. 